We're getting a new look tonight at an unexpected impact from Hurricane Milton. Look at this. Seabirds trapped in sea grass and buried under the sand. This bird was only able to stick its little head out for air with no way to get any food or water. That is incredible. And thankfully, those birds, we're happy to report, are on the mend tonight. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has the details and the video you will only see here. If it wasn't for two very inquisitive kids out here on Indian Rocks Beach, just walking around looking at all the damage and debris, the two cormorants that were buried up to their necks in sand probably wouldn't have survived. Time was running out. Look at that. I can't believe they're alive. You know what? Gee, man. Wow. Come on, buddy. Two boys, ages four and two, get all the credit for even spotting these cormorants. One's head was barely visible under the seagrass. Another was struggling to escape the sand a few feet away. Oh my goodness, look at you. I wonder how they got swept up in the surge. Is that normal? No, it was the first time we've ever seen that. Shelly Vickery is the director of the nonprofit Birds in Helping Hands. So what was their condition like? Very dehydrated. One um, had legs were atrophied, so they kind of fell asleep. He couldn't even stand. They had this will to live his, yeah, out there two days, not being able to move. Yeah. So we really were excited to help them and then kind of brokenhearted that they were out there for two days. Normally, they would just take their injured birds here to Seaside Seabird Sanctuary in Indian Shores. But for now, they can't accept birds. Their avian hospital flooded, was severely damaged from the storm surge during Hurricane Helene. To see them being affected that they are, you know, that's a clear indication that a lot is wrong right now, but they, they really are, you know, incredible creatures and they're so important to the health of our ecosystems. Come on, dude. Don't you bite me. Oh, my. He really wants to bite. Yeah, he wants to bite. I talked to the Good Samaritan who rescued those birds. They were happy to share the video, but just didn't really want to go on TV. But you can tell the kids enjoyed the rescue, narrating the whole thing. Gosh. These, the, the two and the four-year-old boys, if, if they hadn't been out there, these birds may not have made it. That's true. If you hadn't gone over and tried to uh, pet them and, <laughs> and scream, and get bit. They, would, they would still be out there. They would be dead by now, yeah. for sure. Those birds are going to make it. Those birds are doing great. Uh, I checked with the facility in Venice, and they were standing up and doing well. So we were really excited to hear about that. Wow. In Indian Rocks Beach with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. Great story. Thank you, Michael.